like it's a uh, six fifty seven in the morning. So we're going to Barcelona and I'm waiting for the bus. I'm from Alta Fria. See you there. So <laughs> about one hour going to Barcelona. So we arrived around 8.15 maybe. This train is moving. <laughs> get our map and let's start our day it's a little bit warm outside I can see that sun is shining and shine will burn me later <laughs> buy my metro ticket and then let's check it out so the one billet the one uh, one yeah one how do you call it yeah good for one pass this cost like 220 euro is 220 euro which i think is very expensive because in madrid it was like 150 euro so we're going to check out about the 10 yes and they just get it much cheaper 10 20 so i'll go for that one because i might use it many times for today okay and we're going to be with our card so i don't think it it doesn't make sense to buy one ticket for 220 euro but with just via his 10 tickets then it's good for 10 10 pass for the metro okay so i think it's much better but unfortunately it's not available it's not open yet because uh, it's very early I arrived like eight something so Barcelona basically is the region of, of Catalonia which belongs to Spain and most of the architecture are made are, are made are built are made from the 18th century there are Gothic and modern and Romans so let's check it out what are we going to say but I'm telling you guys that I have been here in 2016 so absolutely I'm not going inside in some of the sites because I, I have been there and I today I wasn't prepared really as I wasn't planning to come to Barcelona so I don't have I did not purchase any ticket but just in case you are interested if you're coming to Barcelona you have to plan it you have to buy your tickets ahead because most of the entrance are occupied or if not occupied they are full and if they are not full you have to wait for a very long queuing so that's gonna be the problem because you don't want to have your weekend or your vacation in barcelona spend the hours waiting for your ticket queuing in a long lane so that's not a good idea so first things first buy your ticket online online first buy your ticket and that's it <laughs> So you have a perfect vacation and if you are planning to go inside the museums and whatever uh, attraction in Barcelona. So that's, that's, that's the first thing you have to do. Because most of the tickets that you can buy today is you are going to have tour for tomorrow. So that's how it works. And we are at Sagrada. Familia de Sagrada. So this is really the thing, if you want to visit the Sagrada Familia, you have to come early if you want to avoid the cloud. Because at 9, the tourists started coming and also the road tourists are coming. It's possible to take your pictures, nicely and see the new video because there will be a lot of people around. So just so you know, here is our Sagrada de Familia. Okay, the Sagrada Familia has been built since 1882. 
it's quite long now and the last time I visited this it was in 2016 and according to the guide uh, this should be finished in 2022 so we'll find out because today is uh, 2019 so three years must go and there are so far there are changes that has been made in this area tropical weather there but it's kind of different in Europe when it's summer it's too hot that I don't know you don't understand I experienced the same thing when I was in France in Paris and then in Madrid and then in Barcelona so so today I hopefully I'm going to enjoy my mm, trip so I'm alone as always Again, I'm talking to myself, and the people are looking at me. Um, okay, so hope you like to, you will enjoy my Barcelona trip. So we're hoping, I am hoping for the success of my today's trip, and I hope that things goes smoothly. <laughs> and I'm planning to go to the mountain. Uh, the name is Mojoy, I think. So. Um, I would like to say that please and hopefully I can find how to go there and one thing I forgot is that I, since I wasn't prepared I haven't had any reviews about where I'm going or what so today is like we are free we go wherever and then see things happen and we just see what I see and we are going to enjoy it Okay, one thing I forget to is the map. You know this Google? Google has an offline where you can download it for your Wi-Fi connection. You have to download it. It's very important you download it with your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, because you can use it during your trip or what without using your data. So now I am using my data because uh, I forget to download it. And uh, that's a bad thing because it, it, it consumes much of your data and it consumes my battery and I don't have a, what they call this, battery banks. I, I really don't know what you call a thing where you can stack your battery. <laughs> so that's the problem, a little bit uh, problem for today. But I don't, uh, I don't take it seriously. I have my GoPro to take some of the videos if I need it. Um, yeah, just as I said, I go to this shop to the train station just to charge my phone during my relaxation when I get time from walking. And that's how it works. <laughs> Ah, you think coffee Americano? Es lo mismo. Ah, vale. Café tea es la referencia. Ah, ah. El nombre. El nombre. Muchas gracias. Breakfast cost me like 9.50 50 euro. It's quite expensive than the usual. <laughs> okay, because I have my coffee, I have my somo, and then I have my croissant. So it cost me 9.50 9 euro. Hmm, quite expensive. Um, 
So we are walking, we are going to Casamira and it's a bit unusual. It's 10 in the morning. People are still sleeping, I guess. No traffic, no people, no things. <laughs> That's quite good for my walk. <laughs> it's not too warm, so, or maybe because it's still early. Hey guys, what are you seeing behind me is the uh, Casamira, also known as. Uh, also known as La Pedrida or the Stone Quarry. This was the this was the last work of Antoni Gali before he died, and it's a uh, it's the. So we are here now at Casamela, popularly known as La Pedrida or the Stone Quarry. This was the last private residence designed by architect Gali before he died. So he designed it. As the first building of the 20th century, Casa Mila was included in the UNESCO Heri World Heritage in 1984. So, yeah. so that's all about the Casa Mila. It's a, resident, uh, it's a private residence. And we wonder how much would it pay for. <laughs> Wait, guys, alam niyo ba yung yung ano uh, tourist bus alam niyo ba ko nung kwento dyan yan yung nangunguha ng turista matakot ka <laughs> hindi nangungulikta siya ng mga tourist, tourist sa mga ano tourist point <laughs> so kung sa Pinas may mga van na nangunguha ng mga bata dito may mga eh, bus ng turista na nangunguha ng mga tourist <laughs> so makalata yan last 2016 I tried uh, I tried the bus tour, so free hope and hope out, and then uh, there are previous like free entrance for some museum. But today, no, we're going to walk because I am Hampas Lupa. <laughs> we're at Casa Batillo right now, and as you can see, queuing. So I saw the tickets, I have like three types of tickets blue, silver, and gold. Gold is the priority, which is very expensive, which is 39 euro if, you, if you're going to buy it here. And if you are going to buy it online, it's at least 4 euro. So it's going to be 35 euro, adult, for adult, okay? So, why is buy it online? So no queuing and no hassle and less expensive. Isn't it too expensive, uh, 39 euro for entrance? So that is the Casa Badlu. Uh, bath Lu. I don't know if I pronounce it like Bath Lu. <laughs> so it was built in 1877 and was bought by the family of Joseph Bath Lu in 19th century. So it's very undesirable to be a house or be a home, but they decided to buy it anyway because it's it is convenience and kind of in the center and some kind of commercial thing. So in 20th century, this has become known the passage, Pasio Passage Garcia. So this started to commercialize. The work of Antoni Gaudi, the famous uh, architect, Spanish architect. So, and in the Badlu family, then let him work for this one. And they wanted it to be unique. And did that. And Joseph Badlu doesn't want his house, home, to be look like the other one from his family. So that's why the uniqueness of the of the house. Barcelona Cathedral, situated in the Gothic village of Barcelona, and has been constructed from 13th to 14th century. The Archbishop of Catalonia, Spain, is seated in this church. Came with Gaudi and 
motivation and his motivation especially. We are at the Gothic town of Barcelona. So this is an old town. a little bit going to the Par Montjuic if I'm not mistaken that's the name so it's a little bit of walk and but we're going to have a very nice view of Barcelona that's why I want you I want to go here so I can show you something like uh, the panorama of Barcelona I'm a little bit uh, out of myself <laughs> we're climbing and I can tell you guys, it was a little bit stiff, but it's the thing you do for vlog. <laughs> so let's do this together. No, I'm the only one who's tired here. 